on. Okay, I know this is going bad already. Cause look, at, <laughs> look at the animation. Look at Belle. It's about it's not even called Belle in this film, is she? Look at Beauty. She looks horrified. He looks like they're, they're both got a prom together. Says, right, guys, smile. He's doing a natural smile. But her expression saying, kill me now, please. I'm held hostage. I have a, I have a word of it. I just want to hang up my friends. Uh, and see that painting in the background? That's more compelling than these two up front. I am not looking forward to this film. Let's get this out of the way. Yes, play cartoon! Play There's cartoon. no other options. Why have a DVD <laughs> menu? Right, I, I walk into Hanfield. This is Bevan and Field presents Beauty and the Beast. Doesn't that logo look familiar? <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris. I don't want to be here right now. I don't really want to watch this film. I have fond memories of Disney's Beauty and the Beast, but I think this is going to ruin them. I now, met Hancock because I absolutely want to be here right now. And how come? Christopher uh, Lee! What? Christopher Lee! Christopher Lee, you're a... Well, you know, rest in peace, because you're a great actor. What are you doing in this film? He's really one of those tra- actors who would just say, do anything. And it's you sing the voice of Kelly Bright as Beauty. So her this is the uh, name we're going to go with? Her name is Beauty. In this. <laughs> I don't know if in the book her name is Beauty or she's called someone else, but... <laughs> you know, just to say, he didn't even say who it was directed by. I bet the director was that ashamed of himself or herself that he said, no, do not put my name in the credits. Alan Smithy presents Beauty and the Beast. This is a show we like to call YouTube Roulette, where we ask the following question. Is the shit copyright? That's the second time I've pricked myself. <laughs> I'm sorry, am I the only one? Is that the sound of weird? <laughs> Is this a line I'm myself. going with? If only she wouldn't fidget so, she'd find it much easier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> who, who poses like that? Beauty, are you okay? You seem to be having your seizures again. <laughs> I know. Why don't we sell the quilts we make? We could take them to the chateau at Montpierre. They have hundreds of rooms there, and I often visit Madame Bouchamp. She... What? <laughs> is he agreeing? Or what? Is he got? Has he got something wrong with his neck? Is that why he's moving it? Beethoven approves of his message. Wonder what we call the other two um, daughters then. Can you imagine that? Like, you know, oh, yeah, I was called Sarah. My sister was called. Um, uh, Dorothy. Well, I always says I'll call Beauty. Favours as much. <laughs> wow, you are hideous. I'll call you ugly. No words are they stoned off. You <laughs> ugly and trollop did not approve of Beauty's name. <laughs> we should be grateful your life was spared. Anyway, it's not as if we've lost everything. You can still work. Monsieur Renard has said he would like you to work for him. As you know, he has opened a new shop. The fact that he is independently wealthy has meant that he can continue in business, despite losing a considerable... The magic of filmmaking. Why show things when you can just say they happen? <laughs> Are you sure you want to move on for that? I think we could hear more about Monsieur Renan. <laughs> he was born in 1865 and went to Harvard, where he studied law but went into shipbuilding on a whim. See, he's boring her today. She's falling asleep. You can tell. I'm sure you keep asking questions, so it sounds like I'm interested. <laughs> Why do I keep provoking him? <laughs> oh, boy! Oh, that, is, that was well, then. Oh, Woo, that then is... shall we unpackage this? We have terrifying untextured horses running towards the camera. We have the children's drawing from the fringe uses the background. <laughs> the fresh air. We are truly blessed to have... That is actually good spilly. Isn't it? What? Is that Chris Philly? Where'd the windows go? In this untextured box we wait, call wait, a wait, carriage. Wait. This, hang on, let's listen. Heaven. Philippe, mon ami, Monsieur Dubois. That's Chris Philly. Do you know how I know why? He's the only actor. <laughs> 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 what is he? Uh, uh, what? what? I'm sorry, mister. I just wanted to take a bite out of your second shoulder. I wonder who the villain is. Welcome. Let us go inside. It's much warmer. And we teleport inside. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Do not come that close there. Mm. All of them are terrifying. Oh my god. No! Oh! Oh, oh god! Ah, oh, no, he's doing it! <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Can I kiss her too? What was going on? Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened there? We didn't have a close up of his tie then or something. Present. I have come here today to make you a proper. Uh -oh. I propose that we get rid of the background and replace them with a Photoshop filter. <laughs> I know that's something that she's going on here. <laughs> Why am I even here? I have contributed nothing to the scene. <laughs> Except for comic relief, because I am very funny. Beauty. And with my offer to you of a position in the new company, I shall insist upon the hand of beauty in marriage. Stop that! Stop that with the eyebrows! I got Oh beauty, whatever will become of us? With my rapidly moving mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that weirdly animated frog in the background? <laughs> what, what, what kind of family is like? Oh, look at that lovely uh, frog. We'll have that as an ornament. No, like, look at it. That's not part of the background. <laughs> it doesn't look like everything else yeah. looks painted and that looks like it's drawn in. You know when, like, a character moves to pick something up and it's, like, the only thing that's <laughs> actually animated? Oh. What I told you it was animated! What was, what was that? Weird oh. serial mascot on the windowsill approves of beauty's feminist empowerment. Is he, is he meant to be like the, what the crow was for that, 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 that Dalmatian scene? I hope so. The narrator. I think, dear sister, you are suffering from a form of delusion. Your looks have never attracted the men you wished. Disney's Pride and Prejudice is way crappier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> he looks like a frog as well, actually. Are you getting bored about the film as I am? <laughs> what does this have to do with Beauty and the Beast? He cannot fail to take up my thoughtful offer. Yes. And then we shall have France's most artistic designer for a lot left. Then we have had in the past. Ah, this is the most evil of all plans. We're going to hire my cousin or uncle or nephew or whatever. For slightly less than we would normally pay. Oh, hang on. What was that then? The jewel. You just picked it up and looked at it and cut the next scene. They're not going to explain what it is. I'm, I'm sure they will. I'm sure it's a plot point. This seems like a really poorly done plot point. Something poorly done in this film. <laughs> you crazy. Beauty, I have thought this through over and over. Just like my repeated animation. Over and over. <laughs> Where did they come from? <laughs> We're part of this scene too, dammit. Be quiet, Rob. Yeah, you don't look all that hard off, but yet they keep talking about how poorly they have it. You really get quite a lot of money for that chauffeur. Where's the sofa in the kitchen? We're not going to sell any of these fine paintings I have on this wall. We're going to sell this one brooch. I have like gold frame pictures of a fucking boat. Sell that. Goes well with my ball gown. But you have a ball gown? Ah, so the plot's finally moving forward. Mainly because the father's steadfast refusal not to sell her daughter's ball gowns or fine pictures. No, this one brooch is the only thing he can sell. Are you sure it's safe there? Quite sure. It's fastened as tight as it could be. There's no way you could possibly fall off my jacket. The woods around here are always deserted. And at this time of year, except for Michael Myers. Did he zoom in on the telescope? <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> but this is my last piece of jewelry. You have already stolen my yes, life. Yes, and I want this piece as well. <laughs> <laughs> he looks old. What? They fell off. Did you on purpose? I'm going to watch you do that again. That's night time. We're not editing this. <gasps> He's a villain? It was him? 
Yes, my evil plan is coming to fruition. To hire my nephew or cousin or whatever for a far cheaper price by shooting him. This plot is so simple. It's more simple than the Disney version.